I have black hair, which a lot of you already know because of my Instagram, but like, there's been no video since I have black hair. Anyway, today we are going to be unboxing first boxy charm unboxing video, which I'm very excited about because I've never done one. I'm really serving like hobo chic and like, there's absolutely no chic to it, but hobo. So we have the regular box and then the premium box. We're gonna unbox them both and then do like a versus. So we doing premium, no, regular versus premium. Coco Bongo, I got this in Mexico and I wish I was there. So first I wanna say thank you to BoxyCharm for partnering with me for this video. I'm super excited. Um, I've been really sick lately, like viruses, multiple viruses, love. So I haven't been able to unbox them and show them for you guys, but I am all better finally after like a month and a half. I'm excited that we're going to be doing this every single month. Oh, hold on. let me just talk about the deal because the deal you're getting is wild and I honestly don't know how they profit. <laughs> off of it but I ain't complaining and neither are the people who are subscribed to BoxyCharm. The regular box is $25 a month and it comes with five full-size products. Not little dinky samples, full-size products bitch. And then the premium box is an even better deal because it's $35 a month and it comes with even more full-size products. So you do you boo, $25 a month or $35 a month. We're gonna figure out which one we like better this month because obviously Next month I might like the premium or I might like the regular one better, but we're gonna figure out, we're gonna get the real tea, and I'm gonna be honest. And if you guys want to see more makeup related videos or just wanna see more um, unboxing of the BoxyCharm videos, then let me know below. Also, click my link for a subscription to BoxyCharm because it's pretty fucking cool, bitch. We're gonna start off with the regular box. Okay, so this month we have Breaking the Ice. So first we have Too Faced Cosmetics Diamond Light highlighter which first of all this packaging is gorgeous it's your time to shine truly so the shade is canary diamond it looks like it's more gonna be like a glittery based highlighter which like I don't hate I just don't like when a bunch of glitter goes on my face but you never know what well, we will see and this diamond light highlighter retails for $36 so you already got your money's worth mm. So next in the box, we have the Ace Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. And look at this. Okay, we're not. Pitch. <laughs> look at that color scheme, the story. The story behind it is what I'm inspired by, truly. I love peaches and like pinks, so I might do a pink look. I think I'm gonna do pink. <laughs> I'm excited. Next we have the Wonder Beauty Trip for Two blush and bronzer duo i just i don't know about the blush it looks a little more per like on the purple side so the blush i use is um by milani because i like to build on my blush because i don't want it to be too like if i go in heavy-handed i don't want it to be like a clout because like they really scare me this is my blush and this is the blush that is in the duo so you can already tell the difference this one's a lot less you know intense next in the box we get i'm excited let me take it out of the packaging. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Obviously, I can't show you guys this product. I can't test it out because I ain't going to bed. All right, and the last of the box, bitch, is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara, and she retails for $25. I don't know her deal. Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I like drama. I like big lashes, so work premium box time so the first product is gonna be the Too Faced Palm Springs Dream Cocktail Party eyeshadow palette oh <laughs> all right so this palette retails for $45 okay okay work all right color scheme kind of all over the place you get like a nice dark blue a purple uh like for the glitters at least you have a blue purple pink mm, like a gold but you could also go subtle with the nudes and the browns and then pop it off with a glitter so i get it i like it and i'm excited next we have the Lene fresh calming mousse moisture Bitch is a moose. Oh, this is exciting. Do I shake it? Wait, do I shake it? Do I shake it? I don't know. Let's just see. If it doesn't work, we know why I shook it. Okay, so this retails for $29, and honestly, I'm very excited to pop this on my face, because who doesn't love a good moose? I do. 
All right, next is the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiant Serum <laughs> with the hyaluronic acid. This is retailed for $54. <laughs> My broke ass. All right, next we have Kat Von D eyeshadow and blush. Okay, so this is her iconic shade called Lolita. I don't have a lot of Kat Von D products, so I'm interested to see how her eyeshadow is because I, I don't have a palette of her. I've only used like the contour. We have the Saint Lux Beauty Eyeliner Trio. Wow, she's expensive. $55 for three? Okay. I mean, might be worth it. Who knows? I've spent more money on more ridiculous things. I ain't gonna judge. We have Saint Nude, Saint Bronze, and Saint Charcoal. So we got different types of eyeliner shades. Obviously, I'm probably gonna go in with the black one, Saint Charcoal. The next and final product that we get in the premium um, is $42, and it's the Billion Dollar Brow Best brow kit ever. This comes with a brow duo pencil, so it's a concealer and a highlight. A brow pencil that has a spoolie on the end. I'm confused because not every blonde bitch wants dark eyebrows like I used to do. So if you're blonde and you want more of a lighter moment, what are you gonna do? How is it universal? Alright, so it also comes with a smudge brush and um, it looks a little thick and then it comes with a brow gel. Alright, I'm gonna zoom in the camera a little more. So you can see the mountain growing on my forehead, and then we're gonna get into the makeup. These will have to do, looking like a fourth grader. Also, I just got my brows done. <laughs> Actually, oh, we almost boo-booed. We have the fucking moisturizer, which I'm very excited about. Never, 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 never seen a mousse moisturizer. So like, I don't know how much to use. So we're gonna go in with this and pray it's not too much. Okay. It might have been, it might have been, it might have been a lot. All right, my face is really moisturized. Let me just look in. God damn, I really coated it. It doesn't have a scent, which I, I don't really mind and no scent's really good for a lot of people because, you know, sensitive skin and all, which is what I have. It feels good. My skin is like normally soft because I have like a bomb ass routine I'm just gonna drip it down my face yeah it's definitely tacky which is good I'm gonna do my foundation and my uh, concealer off camera and then I'll be right back all right so we're back I did my foundation concealer and I baked my face now we're gonna bronze up and uh, do some blush with the duo let's just not go crazy oh <laughs> I'm looking in the camera, bitch, and it looks ten times worse. Like, I swear to God, it ain't that bad. It kinda is making me look dirty. <laughs> Give me a second. No, it's honestly, it's kinda cute. In person. On camera, what I can see right now, it might be fine when I edit this, but right now, what I see is like... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna really lightly do my jawline. Because I had too many f***ing Big Macs, bitch. Not even. It's the junior chickens that get me. One day you're skinny, and the next, McDonald's is laughing. And their pockets are full. I make it sound like I eat McDonald's every single day, and I do. I do. I don't. Y'all, I, I ain't bad at makeup, okay? But right now, I feel like I look like a hot mess on camera. Let me contour my nose. Personally, I think my nose is too big for my face. But, oh that bronzer bitch. I really hope it's not as bad. I personally think my nose is too big. An insecurity, as you will. But a lot of people tell me it's not. I go with what they say and I run. I run with it. I personally, don't come for me, I personally like bronzers that you can build. You know, because that, that doesn't happen. It's a learning curve. And next time if I use this product, I won't, I won't go in three times. I won't even do one. I'll do a half. Now for the blush, I'm going to go in real fucking light. Because, uh-uh, we're not doing that again. One. And we tapped. Okay. I'm not mad at the blush. I thought it was going to be kind of not it for my skin tone, but... Alright. 
We're gonna go in with the Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighter. <laughs> Where is she though? I feel like there's a lot of just little glittery pieces that are just chilling on my face. So I don't know if I like that. So this side of my face for the eye look is gonna be the regular and this side of my face for the eye look is gonna be the premium. I'm gonna go straight in with Lotus, which is like light mauve purple. Can I just say something? I like scratched my eye or some bullshit. I don't really know what I did, but it started hurting right up here on the lid. Right up there. Every blink, bitch, every blink hurts. Even when my eyes are closed, it hurts. So I got this like eye gel that I put in my eye. It's very wild and you'll see it in the vlog because I'm doing vlogs. Ooh. But um, just so you know, this hurts me. This hurts me deeply to do this on my eyeball. So. I'm doing this on a nothing, um, nothing, nothing because I don't know the brand because the brand's gone. Actually, it was BH Cosmetics. I know that. All right, this color is actually really... <laughs> this shade is honestly really... Really? Why do I keep saying really? So now that I put that down, I'm going to go in with another... A uh, fucking uh, brush light. How am I supposed to pretend to be a beauty guru if I can't even tell you the number? That's a secret you'll never tell. I'll never know. You know what? Cut it. Alright, we're gonna go on with this pink moon moment because it's it's calling my name. Little bit in the crease. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> Work. Ooh, ooh. Now. <laughs> I hate myself. Alright, we're gonna use Maui. I put it straight onto my lid. I just want to pack this all over my face. She's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I have so many brushes, bitch, but some of them need cleaning. And by some. So once again, this is the color. This is a color scheme. Alright, we're gonna go into cabana time. Ooh. I need to clean my brushes. Point blank. Period. Alright, I'm gonna use a lot of the browns, the nudes, and then I'm gonna top it off with like the bronze shimmer. Um, I'm gonna put Saucy Bossy um, all over my lip. It's actually a really cute color and I'm kind of living, dying, breathing for it. Rum Tiki, we're gonna go to Rum Tiki. And I'm really just doing this as I go. I don't have a plan. Honestly, I kind of like the shadows. They're both really working. Um, they're working. Um, we're gonna go in with BYOB, bring your own booze, or bring your own boy, bring your own bitch, bring your own fucking. All right, and we're gonna take, ooh, do we take tea? Yeah, we're gonna take, mm, actually, <laughs> that was a lot. Oh my camera's gonna die, oh my fuck, oh my fuck, oh my fuck. All right, so I had to charge my camera for a little bit. We're back, nothing has changed. And I'm about to put TFTI, Tiffity, on my eyelid. All right, I'm gonna do some mascara. So we're gonna use the, now is this a mascara or is this something to put on top of your mascara? So we're gonna use the Grande Drama Intense uh, Thickening Mascara with castor oil in it. Okay, that's the mascara. Um, so right away, normally I hate thick brushes. Like, cancel, bitch. Cancel that out. But this one was, like, really nice to work with, and I honestly loved it. So this one is, like, hard, and the bristles are really small, and this is, this one's by Tarte. Um, and that one was, like, fluffy. I don't know. I really liked it, and it made my eyelashes pop. Okay, I'm gonna apply some lipstick, because we didn't get one in this month's box. Um, so, I'm gonna swatch this, because... I'm not gonna front, I totally forgot about it. Wow, that's cute. That's not gonna go with the premium side. She's finished, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm a very forgetful gal. Like, it's, it's bad. I forgot about the eyeliners, but I'm going to just quickly like do it on the outside and smoke it out. It's black, but tell me why it's so hard. Like, am I gonna, you know, scratch my eye again, because I ain't about that. It's not soft, like, at all. It's not working. It might be me, it might be me. It might be me. Um, let me try it on the side. Ah, I can't do it on that eye, it hurts too much. No. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ooh, the highlighter is really cute with the pink look. I like it. 
I think both sides look really good. Like, I love the eyeshadows. Alright, so for the brows, here's the Realty. I literally just got them done. So they are tinted, and they already look like they're filled in. Like, I could leave it like this, but I am going to go in with the Universal and just, like, see what the tea is. Yeah, that is way too light. This is, like, not my shade at all. I like my eyebrows dark, especially now that I have black hair. If it was my shade, though, I, f I feel like I'd like it. It's very soft. I do not like this brush. I think it's way too thick, but I am going to use this brow gel. Just to snatch my brows a little bit more that I've already been done. A little gracious lady. I like the idea. I really do. Is it for everyone? No. Unless they have different shade ranges. It is not for everyone because like I said before, I like my eyebrows like hella dark. Is it worth the $42? I don't know. That's honestly up to you. I don't think it's worth that much. But you again, you do get a lot of products with it. So. So for a little recap, let's look at the regular box. So the Too Faced highlighter um, is $36. Next, the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust um, palette, which is $34. This duo is $36, and honestly, it's not a bad price because you're getting a bronzer and a blush, and it's really cute and small. Obviously, we have the Glow Recipe Mask, which there's so many reviews online, and so many like people love it, so I'm sure it's going to be great. And she is $22. And then the last product in the box is the mascara. And I really enjoyed this mascara. And she is $25. So rounding up all those prices, you get a total of $153. Which, for the price of $25 a month, is amazing. Honestly, the products are quality. They're not, like, shitty. The packaging's cute. You're getting really good stuff for the price that you're paying. So for the regular box, I would say... Four out of five products were a hit for me. The highlighter, I'm going to put that as a miss because I honestly didn't really like it, but it worked, it was cute, but I wouldn't put it as a hit for me. Okay, now looking at the premium box, first we're going to talk about the Too Faced palette. Um, at first, like I said, I didn't know about the color scheme, but on my eye, it's really cute. It's a really cute bronzy look. So I would say this was a hit for me. This was $45. Uh, this moisturizer... Felt really good. A little goes a long way, which is great. And the fact that it's mousse is fun. Look at the packaging. It's cute. It's pink. I like it. And she is $29. Next, we have the Farsali, basically the primer that we put on before the foundation. It doesn't, like, feel gross, and it's not moving. It's staying in place, and there's no, like, cracks yet. So, honestly, I really enjoyed this. This is definitely a hit, and it's $54. So, the Saint Looks Beauty Eyeliner Trio. I'm... Y'all can guess, it was a miss for me. I personally don't enjoy penciled eyeliners anyway, like to begin with, so at the start, it was just not it for me. And for $55, the Cat Von D eyeshadow and blush for $19, it's pretty good quality and it's a really pretty shade, so. And then lastly, for $42, we have the best brow kit ever. So adding up all the prices for each product in the Premier box, you are getting $244 worth for only $35 a month. For me, there was four hits out of the six. So now comes to which box did I prefer, the Premium or the Regular. I think I'm going to have to go with the Regular box. Don't get me wrong, the Premium was amazing and there's so many good products, but I think the eyeshadow palette, the mascara, and the glow recipe, like, pushes it for me. So if you guys subscribe to BoxyCharm, let me know which box you get every month or if you want to or if you, you know, are going to change your prescription to the premium or if you're going to keep it as a regular. Let me know. I want to know. And again, thank you so much to BoxyCharm for sending me all these products. That is it for today's video. Make sure you tell me which side you like better, which box you like better. And that's it. Period. Adios, bitch. Bye. We clowning. Alright, bye guys.